welcome to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast, where intelligent living is paired with signature style. I'm your host, Shannon Abels. And whether you're listening on your commute, exercising, working in the garden, or sitting down with a hot cup of tea or a cafe au lait, thank you for tuning in. Let's get started. Welcome to Monday, everyone, the last day of August, and fall is right around the corner, and so much is waiting to be enjoyed, whether it's with our work, our families, our our school, and yep, we got to talk about it, style and fashion. September begins tomorrow, and with it, the fall season seems to unofficially begin in many ways. Much of Oregon is already back to school, vacations are winding down, and the long Labor Day weekend in the States is just a few days away, which for a few is the true marker of the fall season. Tomorrow, the Simply Luxurious Life's Fall Shopping Guide will be sent out to subscribers, and as I have been fine-tuning my own fall capsule wardrobe this season, I wanted to focus on a staple that is often an unmentioned gem to always have on hand the blazer. Having found my dream blazer this season, as I discussed in last week's Outfit of the Week post, be sure to visit that for the shopping link to that particular blazer and a bunch of others. The more I began to contemplate all of the options now available to me, the more excited I became. Such excitement is almost reminiscent of the first day of school I always look forward to as a young girl when my mom would, prior to that first day, take me back to school shopping and I would have to wait to wear my school clothes until school actually began. It was pure torture, but oh, I was so excited. I had the outfits planned in my head and everything was ironed and laid out the morning before. Very little has changed, folks. <laughs> Very little has changed. I enjoy this time of year with that particular focus on fashion just as much. There are many other things I look forward to, but that is definitely one of them. And I have a feeling a lot of you are right along with me on that. But truly, there are many options when it comes to blazers. And when you're ready and your budget is as well, there are beautiful quality options that will remain in your closet and be worn happily for years to come. Today, I'm going to take a look at the many options available when we have a blazer in our closets, as well as style inspiration. I'll include a ton of pictures on today's show notes, so be sure to stop by the blog of how to style it to work the best with each of your signature styles, because each one of us has a different way of working our wardrobe to fit our personality, our lifestyle, and our body types, of course. However, before I dive into our discussion on blazers, let me give you a quick hint as to what today's petit plaisir is all about. We're talking the bedroom and how to add a touch that is so simple that'll spruce up your decor. All right, but now let's get to the topic of today's episode, the blazer. First question, let me answer it for you, but the question is, why not wear a blazer? I'm going to share with you six reasons why you should consider wearing a blazer. And as we know, there are many different styles and cuts. That's the gift and the beauty of it. But let's break down the six reasons to consider wearing a blazer. Number one, it's work appropriate. Depending upon where you work, even if you are expected to wear a suit, a blazer is a necessity that will always work. If you happen to work in a field that is similar to education, a sort of middle ground, blazers can be worn with dark denim, over sleeveless dresses, or long sleeve dresses for that matter. And there are many other options we will discuss later in our episode. The coverage, the collar, and the layering that it allows you to pull together multiple looks make sure that that look is professional and work appropriate. Roll up the sleeves to add a touch of casual, but still, these blazers are absolutely appropriate for the office. Number two, why not wear a blazer? Well, just as much as it's professional for the workplace, it's also perfect for casual everyday use. The blazer offers the best transition as you make your way from the office to the restaurant with your friends or your significant other for dinner and drinks. Perhaps you change up the accessories and maybe even the bottoms and the shoes, but the blazer can remain constant and will always fit right in any situation. Number three, I love this one. It's an outerwear option. I mean, we're transitioning into fall here in a few weeks, but it's not really cold enough to wear our heavy coats, but it's not warm enough to not wear anything at all. 
That's where the blazer comes in. It's perfect. Add a scarf if the temps drop a bit more and you're set. So number three, blazer as an outerwear option. Number four, speaking of options, the options are endless. The brilliance of the blazer is that you can wear it every day if you want to. And as long as you wear it with a different top or a bottom, skirts, pants, jeans, you will forever be looking pulled together in style and never the same. Choose a neutral color that works well with your capsule wardrobe, whether it be tan or wheat, charcoal, black, gray, navy, or white. And very much like a chameleon, it blends in beautifully with all your other items in your capsule wardrobe. Number five, a blazer is a safe option that can break the rules tastefully. I love this one. This is, I think, my favorite reason for wearing a blazer. One of the things I love about the blazer is that it exudes a professional flair or touch, but you can have a bit more leeway with the bottoms that you choose. Have some fun with a statement t-shirt, for example, that speaks to your sense of humor or even boyfriend jeans and a pair of flats. The juxtaposition of this serious and silly or uber casual can sing a very nice tune that exudes this in, I don't want to say effortless style that maybe looks more difficult than it really is. It's really quite simple, truly effortless, right? (laughs) Number six, a blazer is a travel go-to. Airplanes can offer a chilly climate, as we all know, and taking a scarf or a coat, while always a good idea in the warmer months, isn't always the best idea in the cooler months. Because we know if we're traveling in the fall and winter, it's probably going to be cold when we step off the plane. But we also know it's going to be cold on the plane at some point. Point, right? So making sure that you're using that blazer to act as that layer, but also to save your luggage some space because you're now wearing one of the items that may be taking up a bit more space than a scarf is a brilliant idea. It offers you comfort, it gives you certain style, and it works with just about anything you want to wear. So there are the six reasons why to consider adding a blazer or two into your closet. And don't worry, in today's show notes, the simplyluxuriouslife.com backslash podcast 58, I have done a ton of shopping for you. All different colors, most of them all neutral, just because we're looking for a capsule wardrobe essential, right? But again, your personal style may be different and you may want some color or a tweed or a print. That's absolutely up to you. But I also provide a bunch of different price points as well. Now we're going to take a quick one minute intermission. And when we come back, I'm going to talk about different ways to style and wear a blazer. I'll see you on the other side. Are you a new listener to The Simple Sophisticate? Curious about what living simply luxuriously is all about? Start at the beginning with the very first episode that focuses on the eight pillars of living a simply luxurious life. It's the most downloaded episode of the podcast and the perfect way to discover how to live your best life. Visit www.thesimplyluxuriouslife.com backslash podcast one and discover what simply luxurious living is all about. Welcome back. We just talked about the six different reasons to wear a blazer, and now we're going to talk about the various ways you can style it. And there are many more probably than what I'm going to list, but these are the main ones that I came up with. And for each of these ideas, I have images of them on today's show notes. So be sure to stop by the blog. Number one, the most common, the way or the reason I should say this blazer top jacket, whatever you want to call it, was created is to be one of the pieces of a suit, whether you're wearing it with a skirt or matching pants, right? This is a great way. And I highly recommend that you actually get your first blazer, depending on what you do for a living. But if you're going to get a blazer and you need to have a professional suit, get the first blazer to match a pair of pants or a skirt that's already in your closet. Kind of like having that suit for any occasion should the need arise. And you always know it matches, it's quality, it fits you, it's tailored. So the key with that is just the point I mentioned tailored. Even if you buy it and it doesn't exactly fit the waist, the length, whatever it may be, buy it a little larger and take it to your tailor so it fits you 
perfectly. A very good idea. It's a little bit of an investment, but not that much. It really depends on your tailor. I mean, you could probably pay less than $50 and have it completely tailored to you for the rest of the time that you wear it. It's a great idea. So the first way to wear a blazer is to pair it with a pant or a skirt. Number two, my favorite on the weekends or in the evenings, pair it with jeans. I always think of Jennifer Aniston because she does this look so well. And that's actually the image on today's show notes. I have two of them, in fact. She is regularly seen with a blazer and jeans while traveling or seen on the streets during her day. Whether you choose boot cut as she wears in today's blog post or skinny straight leg or boyfriend, a beautiful middle ground is struck that can take you just about anywhere. Number three is to add a scarf. The accessorizing of a scarf is simple and classic. Again, when you have a neutral blazer, you can have fun with the scarves you choose and the statement is immediate. In episode 32 of The Simple Sophisticate, I speak specifically about the Francophile's Guide to Style and share the 14 essentials for a capsule wardrobe. And one of those essentials is a blazer. And of course, one of the accessories we would absolutely want to include would be a scarf. If you're interested in learning more about a Francophile style guide, I'll provide links in the show notes. But just keep in mind that blazer can transition in so many different ways and so many different preferences. But by adding a scarf, it's just like adding a different top, a different pair of earrings, a different pair of shoes. It changes the look immediately. Number four is to pair it with either flats or heels. Depending on the length of the pant or the skirt or the type of dress you're wearing, depending on your style, depending on what you're doing for that day, flats or heels work well with a blazer, especially if you are wearing a boyfriend blazer, which is a more oversized and longer. Pairing with a stunning heel is a balance of feminine and masculine that works and looks very nice. So number four, Four, pair it with flats or heels. Number five is to pair it with shorts. If you're someone who loves wearing shorts or you are in a warmer climate or shorts are part of your capsule wardrobe, don't be afraid to pair your blazer with them. It dresses it up immediately, whether you're wearing actual shorts or a romper. And I provide a fantastic image on today's show notes of exactly that. It immediately dresses it up. Your gams get to be shown off and you're probably going to be able to get into some very nice restaurants when the temperatures are hot. So number five, wear with shorts. Number six, layer over a dress. Perhaps you are wearing a sleeveless sheath or you have a few summer dresses that would work well in the fall if only you could cover a bit more skin. Add a blazer. Even a boyfriend blazer is a brilliant idea as you can still cinch the waist with a belt that ties it all together and still gives your body a feminine silhouette. Number seven, pair with tees. I briefly mentioned this in the first part of today's episode. Whether you want to have some fun with statement tees or you just want to run errands and wish to pull a quick stylish look together. Selecting a t-shirt is a simple pairing with a blazer. Always have a few on hand in the neckline that is most flattering for you. And without fail, you will look effortlessly chic. So number seven, pair with tees. Number eight is to pair with camisoles. A bit of a dressier look than the t-shirt. It is lightweight and a camisole under a blazer can be worn during any season of the year as you can always add more layers, which is beautiful. So for anyone who loves camisoles but wonders, how am I going to be able to wear this? Well, don't wear it by itself. Oftentimes camisoles have the most beautiful necklines and the fabric just feels so good on the skin. Add a blazer and you're out the door and you can go just about anywhere and you've dressed up the look, but you've also dressed it down a little bit because you have a blazer. So number eight, wear a blazer with camisoles. And the last one, you know, I had to include this one. Number nine, wear it with stripes. The fail safe due to stripes neutrality, you can wear just about any color of a blazer when it comes to stripes and you will look casual yet pulled together. There's a fantastic image of Emma Watson. She's total nonchalant and she looks absolutely fantastic. So be sure to check out that image. As you can see, the options for how to wear a blazer are seemingly infinite. Depending upon your signature style, your profession, your daily lifestyle, you can make the blazer shine for you in a way that will be completely different from someone else. I have done a bit of shopping, as I mentioned before, with different price points, different brands, and different colors. Briefly, many of you may be wondering, well, what is the blazer that you found, Shannon, that you love so much? As I said, the links are on today's show notes, as well as the outfit of the week from last week and I'll provide a link to that in today's show notes. But the one that I fell in love with was from Theory. 
absolutely fantastic. I have very broad shoulders and therefore I have a really hard time finding sleeves that are long enough. So I always end up rolling them up, right? These sleeves were absolutely long enough. It fit my shoulders wonderfully. I'm not going to have to take it to a tailor and it's just fitted just enough to add a little bit of a waistline. I absolutely am thrilled with my find. Another brand that I highly recommend for a boyfriend blazer, which I found and at a much cheaper price point, is Halogen. Available at Nordstrom's. I'll provide a link to it on today's show notes. But that's just an example. Readers actually mentioned that they found some great blazers with H&M. And I have found that too a few years ago. Wonderful price point. And if they fit you, perfect. Pick up a few of them. I would if you can, because you want multiple options that fit your capsule wardrobe. The key when it comes to blazers is to choose something that you can wear with many different outfits in your capsule wardrobe, which adds depth to what you already have. I do hope you have fun shopping this fall or spring because you can, hey, add a white blazer. That was one thing that's a fantastic addition to a summer or spring capsule wardrobe. And I will provide links to white blazers as well. So do not worry. For all of today's information, the links, the images, the posts that I mentioned, please visit today's show notes, the simplyluxuriouslife.com backslash podcast 58. And now for today's petit pleasure. I'll see you in just a moment. For this week's petit pleasure, I'm taking us back to the bedroom. And part of the reason I'm doing this is that sleep, as we know, is where we spend a third of our lives. And to get a sound night's sleep benefits us in so many different ways throughout the rest of our day. Well, We also want to want to go to bed, and part of that comes down to how we decorate our bedrooms. And while I've talked about a lot of different details when it comes to our bedroom, the one thing that I have changed recently in my bedroom are the pillows on my bed. I've always been happy with the duvets and the color, but there's always been something missing. It just feels that the pillows weren't plush enough or there wasn't enough of them. Anyway, it didn't beg for me to dive into it. Should I say that? But anyway, I kept seeing images of the Euro pillow being placed in front of the standard pillows instead of behind it. And I was like, oh, that makes such a big difference. And it really does. There are two different ways you can do this. First of all, a Euro pillow, a feather down pillow from Pottery Barn is less than $30. The sham is completely up to you. You can make your own, maybe you already have yours. And a lot of different companies make the color that you may want. But this pillow itself isn't that expensive. I get a 26 square Euro pillow. And I place it in front of, sitting straight up and down, two standard pillows. Now you could put the standard pillows stacked on top of each other or stacked like books on a shelf. It really is up to you. And by bringing those Euro pillows to the front, it does make the bed look shorter, but it makes it look fuller. And that look just, for whatever reason, it just looks more luxurious. And it doesn't even, you don't have to buy any more pillows. If you already have two Euro pillows, just move them from the back to the front, which is exactly what I did. Now, if you want even more plushness, I started seeing this in House Beautiful, have four Euro pillows if you have a queen bed. Now, I've never had a king bed, but there's all sorts of different king size pillows you can use as well. But what you do is you leave the two Euro pillows in the back, bookshelf style your two standard pillows, and then add another Euro pillow to the front. Let me tell you, it looks like a bed of pillows, but just the right amount. (laughs) It looks fantastic. Part of the reason I wanted to include this in this week's Petite Pleasure is I saw an image on Inslee's Instagram. Now, Inslee, if you probably already know, but just in case you don't, Inslee is the illustrator behind all of the images on the Simply Luxurious Life and the Simple Sophisticate. And she is always inspiring to me, but she posted an image of her bed and she had her Euro pillows sitting upright in front of her standard. I was like, oh my gosh, I've got to share this with my readers. You should definitely follow her on Instagram. Stop by her website. I provide all the links on today's show notes. But it just is a simple way to add a touch of luxury to your bedroom. I'll provide a link to the pillows that I mentioned as well. And uh, perhaps it's just a simple touch that'll make a big difference in the boudoir. I hope you've enjoyed this week's Petit Plaisir, where each week ideas are shared to make the everyday all the more enjoyable. Tune in at the end of each Monday's podcast where I'll recommend a book, a film, a recipe, or anything that is a simple pleasure to satiate your sophisticated taste. Thank you for tuning in to the Simple Sophisticate Podcast. 
If you've enjoyed what you've heard and you have a few minutes, take a moment to rate this podcast on iTunes and leave a review. For more ideas and inspiration, stop by the blog, the Simply Luxurious Life.com, or subscribe to the weekly newsletter, which arrives in your inbox each Friday to help you stay caught up on the latest blog posts, podcasts, as well as offer an extra dose of inspiration exclusive to subscribers. Until next Monday, I'm your host, Shannon Abel's where intelligent living is paired with signature style. Bonjour.